Jimmy Carr fans weren't sure if the comedian was joking or not when he appeared to reveal had become a father. He told his fans during a stand-up gig in Brixton, I had to tell my little boy Hess adopted. I mean, he isn't, but the look on his face. I said, no, 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 you were adopted, the new family is picking you up tomorrow. He also quipped, we're having a gender reveal party for our kid but we're going to wait until he's 21 just to be sure. With some babies you can't tell, is it a boy or an ugly girl? The 49-year-old sparked speculation that he welcomed a talk with long-term partner Caroline Copping when he was seen pushing a pram on several occasions since 2020. But he confirmed the news was true in his book earlier this year. Get the news you want straight to your inbox. Sign up for a Mirror Newsletter here. Writing in Before and Laughter by Jimmy Carr, the funny man shared on parenting as he reflected on being an older dad, admitting he was nervous about staying fit and healthy for his son. I'm an older father, right? Jimmy told The Independent. By the time my kid's 25 and starting to think about his first big mission in life and finding his purpose I'll be too old. I'll have forgotten all this SD so I put it in a book. Jimmy, who has had 16 hair transplants, also joked to Chris Moyles on his radio show that he only had his son in order to steal his locks one day. He doesn't know that he's a hair donor. But that is why I had him, he said. I'm hoping to harvest more, I'll have a blonde quiff on the top. Jimmy also revealed the unusual moniker he and Caroline, 46, had chosen for their first son, Rockefeller. Speaking to the Parenting Hell podcast, Jimmy said, it's an unusual name. I've always liked surnames as first names. We go Rockefeller. I always liked fella, I think it's a lovely thing. People always go with the rock thing but actually fella's a great name. Alright fella, brilliant. The two-year-old has so far never watched any television, and his dad hopes to keep it that way. Has never seen TV. Has too. Is that weird? said Jimmy. The only thing he's seen is videos of me, like if I've got a gig and has going to bed, well do a little FaceTime at bed. Hopefully by the time we ease TV in hell just go, am not interested, my dad seems to present everything. Jimmy, whose new game show I literally just told you airs on Thursday, said he won't be encouraging his son to follow his footsteps and become a stand-up comic. He'd love him to follow in my footsteps but not necessarily into comedy. Into whatever makes his heart sing, he explained. Whatever that thing is that just makes him go, oh, I'm so happy doing this. If you get to find that thing where you live to work and not work to live, that's for me incredible. Who wouldn't want that for their kid? Caroline, who Jimmy started dating back in 2001, is the commissioning editor for Channel 5. They met at an audition, and Jimmy thinks she wasn't at all impressed by him at first. Speaking on Desert Island Discs, he joked he saw her note down that he was a one-note comedian with the eyes of a sex offender. While Jimmy is a doting dad himself, he can't say the same about his own father. It's not a secret, I haven't seen my dad in 21 years and you know the line, my mother's dead and my father's dead to me, which sounds very cold, until you meet the guy, he told pals Rob Beckett and Josh Whittacombe. It's a weird thing where I'm acutely aware that things don't always work out. 
I'm aware that sometimes it goes the other way and that could be terrible and there's no bitterness and there's no anger there. I want the best, I just can't have that guy in my life. There's a bit of sadness there and you worry, could something go wrong with my kid? You want to prevent that, but it's hard. I think it's about being a father and being that figure for him but not in any way controlling. Do you have a story to share? Email web features at trinitamirror.com.